In the fallout over the edible oil scandal, intense pressure was placed on Ding Xin to sell its 37% stake in Taipei Financial Center Corporation, the operator of Taipei 101. The buyer that emerged, Malaysian developer IOI Properties Group, now faces its own pressures from Taiwan lawmakers who demand that the government stop foreigners from buying a stake in the iconic building. IOI Properties submitted its bid to buy a stake in TFCC last week. The Investment Commission won't review it until it receives an application from the seller, Dingxing International Group. When the selling party intends to sell its investment, the buyer and seller should jointly apply to the Investment Commission. In this case, only the buyer has applied. Since the seller has not yet applied, at present, we cannot review this case. A reservation toward IOI properties is that it is unclear where funding will come from. This is a 25.1 billion NT dollar sale, but IOI properties has only applied to remit over 700 million NT. It hasn't clearly explained where it'll get the remaining 24.4 billion. IOI properties intends to borrow a portion of the funding from Taiwanese banks. Four KMT lawmakers issued a statement urging local banks to deny any loans. The Malaysian IOI group remitted only 700 million NT dollars to establish a company. It plans to use this method to acquire a 37.1 percent stake in Taipei 101, where urging domestic state-run banks, along with private banks, to take a firm stance in this case. Legislator Swen Dachian also believes it would be wrong for foreign interests to hold a stake in Taiwan's most famed building. Another reservation is whether IOI Properties has any Chinese funding. Current regulations do not permit Chinese investment in real estate.